So today's video is going to be the Perfect Palette tag. This is quite an old tag, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys some of my favorites and maybe some least favorite palettes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Number one is Best Packaging, and my pick for this is sort of random, I feel, but I was looking through all of my palettes and I settled on the Tarte Energy Noir palette. First of all, it's gorgeous. I love cool tones, so purple is one of my favorite colors. It's got some gold on the back. I think it's stunning. And I think it's a good size for what you're getting. You get nine eyeshadows in this palette and a blush. So I feel like that also makes this palette great for traveling. It comes with a mirror, which is nice. I love the colors of the eyeshadows in this palette, but when it comes to the packaging, I think it's perfect. It's very sturdy and it's not too big and it's not too small for what you're getting in this palette. And it's pretty to look at. Next is which palette has the best color payoff? And that would go to either of my Too Faced palettes. I only own two Too Faced palettes, the Natural Matte and the Sweet Peach. This has been my ride or die palette for a while. So of course I think it has the best color payoff. This Natural Matte palette is newer to me, but it has the exact same color payoff as the Sweet Peach, which I've had for almost a year now. These shadows are so pigmented and so creamy and so blendable. These are the best eyeshadows I've ever used. So they win the award for most color payoff. So the the next question is most versatile and I kind of feel like I'm totally cheating but my Z palettes are pretty stinking versatile and that is of course because you can choose what goes in these palettes. Both of these palettes are filled with Makeup Geek and Coastal Scents eyeshadows. I think Coastal Scents shadows are the best bang for your buck. They're not the best eyeshadows I've ever used but they're amazing for the price. So I have this one here filled with more of my neutrally toned ones, more warm toned ones, and this one is obviously very colorful. So I would say that these are the most versatile because you can put whatever you want in here. And I know that's totally cheating, but they're the most versatile in my collection, so. All right, so next is best for travel. And I kind of honestly feel like this is another random answer, but I chose the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This is the palette that's on my eyes right now. I chose this palette because I think the packaging is pretty okay for travel. It's not the most sturdy packaging I've ever felt, but I think that it would be fine to travel with. It doesn't come with a mirror, so that's not great for travel, but specifically in reference to the eyeshadow colors that are in this palette, I think that it's absolutely perfect for travel because you have your super light matte vanilla shade, you have a shimmery highlight shade, you have a deep black, and everything in between. You have your cool tones, you have your warm tones, you have your pops of color. I just think that this palette is a perfect everyday palette, especially for travel, because you don't have to take four different palettes that have each thing that you need. There's great transition shades in here, dark shades, light shades, shimmery shades. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this palette because it has everything that you need for any eye look. You can also use this shade here as a face highlight if you're very, very fair like me. I used it today to highlight my face. I mix it with a little bit of champagne pop, but I think that's just another factor that makes this palette so versatile. Biggest regrets unfortunately goes to my Naked Smoky palette. This one is my least favorite out of all of the Naked palettes. And it's not that there's anything wrong with this palette, it's just that I don't find myself reaching for this. I've used it maybe twice in my life. And I think the reason being is that I don't feel like there's enough matte browns. And I, I don't like palettes that have like a million matte browns. You don't need 400 different shades of brown. But the only matte brown in this palette is this super deep dark shade called Whiskey. I wish it came with just one more lighter transition shade when it comes to neutral browns. I do like the formula and the colors are beautiful. I just, I don't reach for this as often as I wish I did. Next is best color names. And this one was tricky for me. I ended up giving it to Too Faced Sweet Peach. I think the names in this palette are adorable. And it's not like they're anything out of this world or super witty or smart or funny or anything like that. It's just the other palettes in my collection aren't great either. If ColourPop had a palette, I would give it to ColourPop. I think ColourPop is amazing at naming their shadows, but they only have the single eyeshadows. So I chose Sweet Peach once again, and I'm not done choosing Sweet Peach. I just think the names are cute, like Talk Derby to Me or Charmed, I'm sure, Bless Her Heart. It's a very Southern Georgia themed palette with peaches. You know, Cobbler is super cute. Luscious is one of my favorite shades ever. Just peachy, candy, peach, summer yum. I just, I just think it's cute. So the next category is least used. And that once again, unfortunately goes to these little boogers. These are the Naked Basics palettes, the original and the second one. And again, it's not that these palettes are bad. It's just that these palettes are full of basic 
shades. And if I'm gonna reach for a palette, I want all the colors that I use to come from that palette. Now that doesn't happen every single time, but it's most convenient to just use one palette. And for the most part, every palette has a matte brown and a highlight shade, which is pretty much all that these have. Like I said, these are nice palettes to have. I'm glad that I have them in my collection. I just don't find myself reaching for them very often. And the last question is most loved, most used desert island palette. And that is, I'll give you a second to guess. Write your guess in the comments down below. Pause me, don't cheat, and write your guess down below. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I don't shut up about this freaking palette on my channel. I absolutely love it. This is the first palette that I ever bought and reviewed for YouTube. And this is absolutely hands down my most reached for palette. As you can see, this is one of the only palettes that I own that I've hit pan. I use this shade for my brows quite a bit. And then this matte skin tone creamy shade up here, I've totally hit pan on. I'm about to hit pan on Luscious. I can't believe I have it yet. I think it's such a stunning everyday champagne lid shade. I like that you get everything that you need in this palette to complete an eye look. You have a matte black, you have a white shade, you have a light champagne shade, you have your browns for the crease, you have some darker, deeper, cooler tone shades, you have your pops of color. I just think that I can't go wrong with this palette. No matter what eye look you have in mind, you can probably use some shades from this palette to achieve that look. And I feel like you cannot go wrong with the formula of these shadows. They're so creamy, they're so pigmented, and they're very, very easy to blend. This palette would work with any skill level. You don't need to be a professional makeup artist to know how to work these eyeshadows. These are super easy to work with for beginners. I know that there's some, I guess, controversy, you could say, about the hype surrounding this palette, but I'm here to tell you, I think it's worth the hype. I think so, personally, personally. And I hope that this sticks around for a long time because I do see myself hitting pan on most of these eyeshadows and I will be repurchasing it once this one runs its course. So that's it, that completes this tag video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine and I will see you next time. This natural matte palette, this natural, whoa. This is my least favorite out of all of the Naked Palettes. Palettes?